Hello everyone, this is Lee with Centroid and I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Windows 10 environment for use with the Centroid software. Uh, basically what I have right here is I just did a fresh install of Windows 10 uh, minus some uh, screen capturing software which I have running to show you this video. First things we want to do is make sure we uh, are running an administrative account. So we're just going to type in control panel. That'll be the first thing that pops up and using the search here is really the fastest way you can find anything in Windows 10. So we're going to go ahead to control panel, check out user accounts, user accounts, and as you can see here, uh, we have an administrative account. You want to have that before you start any, any of this setup, otherwise uh, you might run into certain circumstances where you're not going to be able to do some of these things because you don't have admin rights. So go back to control panel home, system and security, and we're going to start over here with basically the security and maintenance change security and maintenance settings. Uh, these are basically pop-ups that show up. We're just going to uncheck them all. That way you don't have something randomly showing up on your screen when you're trying to run a job. Um, everything is still going to be going on in the background. You just It won't pop up on your screen. So uncheck all those and click OK. Now we're going to go to change user account control settings. And we're going to turn this all the way to never notify me. That way stuff doesn't pop up whenever you're trying to um, you know, set up something going to ask you if that's okay, click OK. Go back to Control Panel Home, System and Security. Uh, next we're going to go to the Windows Firewall. We're going to go over here to change, uh, turn, on, wi turn Windows Firewall on or off, and we're going to choose off and off, and click OK. And over here for change notification settings, double check that, and it's off and off. Go back to Control Panel Home, back into System and Security, and we're gonna go to power options. Um, we're gonna change to high performance. If you don't see high performance, it might be under here to show additional options. Uh, select high performance and click on change plan settings. We're gonna go to change advanced power settings here. This is gonna show up and we're gonna go to hard drive and we're gonna change it to zero, which basically means you're never gonna turn it off. Same thing with sleep, sleep after, never, make sure that's checked, so that's good. If it's not, change it to zero. USB settings, we're gonna change that to disable, basically so your USB um, inputs don't go to sleep. And then lastly, your display. We're gonna change that to zero, which means it'll never turn off. Click apply and click okay. All right, so we're back here. Last thing we're going to do is go down here to the system time, click on it, date and time settings, um, double check to make sure everything is okay. Over here it's going to be, uh, typically it's on, uh, if everything's okay just turn it to off. That way it won't periodically keep cycling and trying to update your time. If you do somehow desync, just go back here, turn it back on. Alright, so we got all that set up. Now we're going to install the CNC software. So. Um, either you can download it or you know I have it on a thumb drive right here so I'm just gonna go to the thumb drive and you just hit over here setup and make sure you read the um, warranty and uh, terms and conditions hit I agree I'm installing a mill here so I'm gonna check CNC 11 mil if you're installing a lathe you check the lathe if you're just trying to test out the demos uh, you'd be installing the, the demos leave the default directory to C. Let's wait until it installs. CNC 11 icon should be put on your desktop. Now here, if you already have the uh, Ethernet cable connected to your control, you will see the network connector to it, um, the network interface card. Uh, right now I don't have it connected, so I'm seeing none. This one here, Ethernet 2, is actually my internet, uh, so I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna just select none. Uh, and finish. I'll show you how to set up the IP address manually in case you don't have it connected otherwise it would just set it up for you. Uh, since this is a fresh install I'm going to install a PLC program. Uh, it already goes to mill. I have an all-in-one DC here and just the basic but there are other options depending on what you have. Um, just select the one like if you had a tool uh, automatic tool changer here you'd go into here and select that one. I'm just going to select basic here so install install complete. Okay so that's all done there. Now here to change your IP address, uh, you just have to go in here, 
open network and sharing here change on uh, click on change adapter settings and you see this one with the X that's the one that's not connected so I know that's the one that I'm going to be using for the um, all-in-one DC uh, this one over here you see it is connected that's my internet you don't want to mess with the internet if you do have two of them uh, right click on here and go into properties and go over here, Internet Pro Protocol version 4, Properties. Um, and I actually entered this a little bit earlier, um, but typically it'd be obtain an IP address automatically. You want to click use the following IP address. Um, actually, I got that wrong there. So it's 10.168.41.1 and 255 255.0. So you click OK, close, um, and then you should be all set. Uh, double click on your CNC 11 icon here. Uh, and you should be communicating with the software. Like I said, I don't have it connected uh, right now, so that's not going to do anything. Uh, if you are running into some issues and you've already followed all these steps and set everything up correctly, um, double check and see that you know um, Windows Defender is not interfering with it. So just go into here in the search bar and type Windows Defender. Uh, it'll be the first thing that pops up. You'll see it here. Uh, you'll see it's on. If you click on Settings, it's going to take you here. Uh, I turn off the cloud-based protection and sample submission off anyway. Um, and then here over real-time protection, uh, you can turn that off as well. This is just a troubleshooting step. Uh, Windows will turn it back on. One last thing um, before is if you go under settings, Windows update and security. Windows periodically pushes updates. Um, this is where you would check and see if you have them. Uh, as you can see here, I, I'm getting some updates. and It'll, it'll ask you know when you want to schedule uh, a time to restart. It will never restart on you uh, as long as your Centroid software is running. Uh, wait until you restart. Uh, if you have problems with this either way, like you're still you know you're trying to run 24/7, so you do have it may be trying to go to restarting at 3:30 in the morning, like it says here. Uh, you can turn off Windows updates by going here to Services. and just hit W to take you down to the Windows settings here. Uh, what we're looking for is Windows Update. As you can see here, it's running right now. Startup type is currently manual. You just hit Disable and click Apply. Uh, you will not get any updates when that is disabled. Okay, well you should hopefully be all set up and be communicating with your control here. Thank you for your time.